Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 18th through the 24th. So keep in mind the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. What do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? January 18th through the 24th. Ooh, this is a death card. So the death card's card transformation. It's an ending with a new beginning to follow. So we do have an ending with a new beginning to follow. All right, so this is, I mean, the death is separation and loss. But this separation and loss gives you a new beginning. So, I mean, hey, death is the end of things, right? But it is a transition. It's a transformation. It's profound change. This is renewal. It's a new life. Death leads to a new life. So yeah, you have a new beginning here. But it comes after an ending. The ending happens first. Woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman. Wow. Misunderstanding. So there is a misunderstanding with a woman. Um, I Whatever this misunderstanding is, I think it's going to cause an ending. It's definitely going to cause an ending. Or the ending wouldn't be here. So there is there is the end of something. It is time. It's a time of transformation. There's been a misunderstanding. You are dealing with a woman who, I think this woman is ending things. Whoever this woman is, whether it's you or, you know, somebody else. But this woman, I think the woman is making the decision to end things. Aha! High Priestess. Okay, whoever you're dealing with is very intuitive. You may be very intuitive. This is somebody that is very, I mean, this is a psychic, intuitive, uh, empath, tarot reader, medium, uh, somebody that has a connection to the divine. Um, very, very spiritual. So we have a spiritual individual here who is receiving messages. So really pay attention to the signs. You could also be dealing with this person. There could be an ending with this person. This person may be choosing to be alone. The high priestess typically chooses to be alone. Chooses to, you know, is very self-sufficient. Um you know, chooses to be single, doesn't, doesn't need to have anybody in their energy, very, re re very reflective, very receptive, very intuitive, distant. So this is somebody who has deep feelings, like they're able to feel very deeply. They feel other people's energy very deeply. So they choose to be alone because it can be a little overwhelming. Other people's energy can be an over, can be overwhelming. So somebody, I feel like we have an individual here in your reading that is choosing to end something because of how they feel. You know, their gut, their feelings is telling them that it is over. It's just their, their gut is saying it's over. I got, I got to, I got to end something. Um, I do think it's a very feminine energy. Okay, I think it's a female. I do feel like we have a female that is making the decision to end something. Yes, goodbye. Goodbye. Eight of Cups. This is leaving an emotionally disappointing situation behind, knowing that they have to do so. So, and I, I mean, it could be, a, it could be, a, Cancer is a very, it's a feminine energy. It is. So it could be a male in their feminine energy, you know, because Cancer is more feminine than masculine. Though all the water signs are, water and earth are more feminine. So it definitely could be a male that is making the decision, but it's a very, it's the feminine side. Okay. Just, just whatever. Anyhow, a decision is being made to end something because somebody's gut is telling them that they have to go. No wish fulfillment here. There's no wish fulfillment. There's there's un, there's an inability to receive love. You know, there's a lack of inner happiness. You know, there's a lack of success. So I feel like somebody has been overlooked. There's been some sort of blockage. Uh, you know, there's maybe somebody's wish has turned into a nightmare, and this is a huge letdown. There's a there's 
There's like, you know, uh, feeling low, shattered dreams. Somebody's dreams, you know, have been shattered. And it's just like, you know, the best thing for me to do is to go. I got to go. Somebody is definitely following their gut and uh, going away. They're going away. So they're going somewhere. Um, ooh, world reversed. Now that is flogging a dead horse, not learning a lesson. Somebody hasn't been able to learn a lesson. They've been they've been trying to postpone an ending. These are this is an ending, this is an ending, this one's reversed, this is delaying, postponing. Even though their gut has been telling them for a long time that this is over. Right? Now this is this is the, the world card reversed is not learning from mistakes, lack of closure, unfinished business, lack of success, refusing refusing to uh, focus on the future. So we have somebody here that has been flogging a dead horse, dreaming and wishing for somebody that hurt them to uh, maybe come back or something like that. It's time to, you know, step over the finish line, right? It's time to stop flogging that dead horse, okay? If something is over, it's over. So the death card is, is a time of transition. So I think that you are transitioning away from somebody that, I don't know, abandoned you or uh, made you feel less than worthy. You know, they... <laughs> didn't love you, something like that, you know, I feel like, uh, somebody's made a big mistake, right, they've made a big mistake, and, and they've held on to this mistake for a long time, and I feel like this is, this is the week where somebody departs because of that death card, that's a departure, death is an ending, once you, if you think about death, and I'm not, I'm not saying that somebody's gonna die, but if you think about death, when it's, when you, when it's dead, it never comes back, it's over. So it's over. So I do believe that if this is like saying goodbye to something that, you know, you had deep, deep, deep feelings for. And I feel like it's, you know, without closure. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. Okay, they could be leaving without saying goodbye or, you know, or, you know. Just knowing that that's what they have to do because something did not come to fruition. You know, it didn't bring them the happiness that they, you know, were hoping for. So anyway, um, Empress Reverse. So lack of growth. There is definitely a lack of growth, a lack of fertility, um, a lack of tender loving care, a lack of nurturing. Um, we, we, you, some of you may be dealing with a, a feminine whether it's you or somebody else that is very cold. This is a very cold-hearted individual who, you know, may have mother issues. This person may have mother issues. She may not be a good mother or she may have uh, not had a mother when she was a child. You know, there's definitely mother issues here. Um, we're, you're dealing with somebody who... Um, is very, very unhappy. This person is unhappy. They're, they're not a happy person. They're not a happy person. They choose to be single. They choose to be single or they choose to, you know, um, Maybe they sleep around. I mean, you could be dealing with somebody that sleeps around a lot. You know, the Empress in Reverse is somebody that doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth. Somebody that commits adultery, you know, that cheats. You know, you could be dealing with somebody that, that sleeps around, that, you know, um, this person could be jealous, possessive, abusive, forceful. I feel like you are ending something with an individual that you know, you probably wish that you never met, you know, and I'm sorry to say that. I am sorry to say that. I feel like you, you wish that you never met this person because I think it has impacted your success, 
you know, with the world card reversed, I feel like it's impacted your success. It's impacted your, um, your own happiness, obviously. So I feel, I feel like, uh, you probably are wishing that you never got involved with this person because you may have two options here. You may, you may have another option that is leaving you. This person has left you or they're leaving you because you got yourself involved with this other person that, you know, was only uh, playing games with you. This person uh, maybe had me have said, you know, that they were going to take care of you. They were going to love you, that they were going to put you on a pedestal. And they may have at the beginning, but it was short lived. But anyhow, Cancer, I feel like you are separating from, could be a mother, could be a mother of your children, could be um, a wife or somebody that you were involved with that, you know, well, it doesn't end successfully. I think you're separating from this person and I feel like, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's a bubble burst. I feel like somebody's bubble is being burst because of this separation. I think somebody is walking away and choosing to choosing to be alone. I mean, that's what I got. Somebody is choosing to be alone. It's like they know that that's what they have to do. They know that this, you know, isn't what they're looking for. And there's a new beginning to follow. So yes, I do believe that this is leaving without saying goodbye. Um, I think it's there's been some sort of um, pain, a lot of pain that has been involved. And somebody is still in a lot of pain with the Empress reversed. And maybe that's why they're maybe that's why they're leaving without saying goodbye because the only sometimes the only way to heal is to, you know, depart. You know, it, you know, is to depart without 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 the closure. So anyway, I feel like this week is about going within, following your gut, and uh, you know, ending something. You are ending something significant uh, with an individual that. I feel like this individual is very forceful, possessive, mean-spirited, uh, overindulgent, may even have a drinking problem or a drug problem or an eating problem or something like that, um, has some sort of addictions, whoever you're dealing with, they they... They may also be a know-it-all. I think that you're ending something with a know-it-all. This person thinks that they know it all. And I feel like it's best for you to just depart. And I think that's what you're doing this week. I feel like that is what you... I mean, what more can I say? Oh, here we go. Queen of Wands, reverse. Could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Could also be a Taurus. Or a Libra. Or a Scorpio. Um... Queen of Wands reverse. This is this is a, a very weak individual. Um, this is somebody that is forceful, forceful and revengeful and vindictive. Um, that is refusing to take a new approach. This is somebody that is stuck in the past or stuck in the present. They don't they don't focus on the future. This person lacks vision. This person is definitely miserable. They are mean spirited. They have a self image problem, and they project that. On, they blame it on you. They blame it on you. They blame their own problems on you, and that's why they treat you so badly. So anyway, I feel like you are are leaving, and it could be a friend. It could be a friend. It could be a lover. It could be an ex wife or something like that, or a mother or something like that, or another. It, it feels like there's a person here that is very very. Uh, vindictive and revengeful and mean and I feel like you are turning your back on this person because you know you know you know you know that your life is better off without them or they know you know if somebody knows somebody knows that they can't keep doing this you know they can't keep investing in something that isn't going to grow you know they they know it they know it so I feel like you are going to be departing with a woman. Whether you're a woman or a man, you're going to be departing. There's a relationship that is ending with a woman that has um, forced their will on you. 
they have tried to control you they have controlled you they have manipulated you they have lied to you and they didn't take care of you and it may have even you know if this is a man woman relationship or a love relationship they may have you know cheated you know there's infidelity here um, this is definitely saying goodbye or not, or it's leaving without saying goodbye. Good luck. 